So you should be familiar with those derivations that we looked at in the previous video, but probably in the vast majority of questions, like in example one and example two here, um, you're just going to be able to quote and use the results. Okay, so we've got our probability generating function given. Question asks for the mean and the variance. So for the mean, the expected value is the differential of um, our probability generating function with t substituted in as 1. So g dash of x of 1. So if we differentiate to start off with and then substitute 1 in and then simplify and evaluate, we get our expected value for x. Similarly, for the variance, you can use your quotable result for the variance. So we need to differentiate our probability gen generating function a second time, get our second derivative, g double dash of x of t, substitute 1 in, so g double dash x of 1 is equal to 11 over 5, and then use our quotable formula, so it's equal to 11 over 5 plus 9 over 5 minus 9 over 5 squared, so variance of x 17 over 25. Okay, so that's the sort of most likely scenario that you're going to have to work through with mean and variance using these differentiation uh, results. But as I said before, one of the key advantages of the probability generating function is this: um, these results where you can find the expected value by differentiating. It's quite a neat um, way of working out expected values and variances. Similar idea then in example two, we've got to work out the mean and the variance again. Here's our probability generating function. So this time just a little bit more complicated in terms of the differentiation required. So to differentiate once, we need to use the chain rule. So multiply by the two, um, reduce the power by one, but also multiply by the differential of what's inside the bracket. So when we differentiate once, we get this expression, substitute in t as one, and we get 14 over five as our expected value of x. For our second derivative, we've now got um, a product of two functions. So for our second derivative, we're going to need to use uh, the product rule. Okay, so this differentiation here is done using the product rule. Substitute in one and evaluate. And once you've got these two things, once you've got your um, expected value of x, or you've got your first derivative um, with one substituted in, and you've got your second derivative. Um, with one substituted in, then you can just use your formula. So it is first derivative, sorry, second derivative, g double dash x of one plus first derivative minus the first derivative squared, giving us a variance of 32 over 25. Okay, so similar to example one, but just the differentiation was a little bit more fiddly um, than in the first example. 